We are now at the beginning of August. So what are the best stocks to invest in right now? Which ones might not be on your radar that absolutely should? Let's go ahead and break it down. So I have went ahead and done some research and pulled together what I think are the top five stocks that you should consider right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spoiler warning. Three of these stocks are gonna make you feel like an absolute genius. To be exact, an absolute rich genius. And there is one stock that I personally have made a mistake on and one other stock that I absolutely told you about that I am up 96% on at the time that we are doing this video. So without further ado, I'm gonna start off with a mistake, okay? I like to be transparent. I like to tell y'all when I messed up, okay? So the first one is Royal Caribbean, RCL. This stock has been on a tear since 2020. And I'm gonna just tell you, okay, I had a friend. We're still friends, okay? So I have a friend, Andre, told me about Royal Caribbean back in 2020 during the pandemic. We did a podcast together and he was like, hey, everything's crashing. Royal Caribbean is going to be a very good stock. And for a while it was, I just never bought it. Never bought into it. And the reason why I didn't back then was because Royal Caribbean wasn't good before the pandemic. And my logic was it wasn't good before the pandemic. It is gonna pop for a little bit, but then things are gonna go back to normal. No, it has not. No, it has not. So World Caribbean right now is up 23% in just the last six months and up 44% over the last year. If you go and look at a chart from 2020 to now, the stock has pretty much been consistently up. Now it hasn't always had this bit of strong momentum, so it has kind of gone flat at times, but the stock is, is strong. It is very strong and it has shown very good numbers since the pandemic, which now is four years ago. Four years ago, we're not talking just a, a small blip. This is wind in its sails, if you if you want to take that metaphor even further. So that's the first one I don't think is on too many people's radar. But here's the one I told you about that I'm up 96% on. It's FICO, the Fair Isaac Corporation. F-I-C-O is the ticker symbol there. They do the credit scores. I think we've talked a little bit about this one in the past. It's up 29% in the last six months and up 83 83% over the last year. I told y'all. Now I did do this entire list plus three additional stocks in our members only, which is your opportunity to join. Also your opportunity to go ahead and hit subscribe. We provide value here, but I did go ahead and let them know this on Sunday. Also our members only do get videos in advance. So if you're watching this, members only usually get this 30 minutes, sometimes a day or even hours in advance. But we have talked about this stock days ago, months ago, and several months ago, when I bought this stock, I told people in our members only, hey, I've done the analysis, I like this stock, I'm putting my own money on the line here, and here we are, a little over a year later, sitting up 96% on this particular company. So again, pay to subscribe, pay to be in our members only, and there are some benefits to it, but it's a company that I have been watching and loving for quite some time now, and again, it's one that's going to make you feel like a rich genius if the stock continues on the path that it has for the better part of two years now. <clears throat> Next here is a company that I feel like I like every other year. Okay, that is American Express. Now, if you have been a fan of the channel for a while, you know that I like to hop on American Express, I get my money, and I get up and leave. So American Express, the stock symbol here, is AXP. And right now they're up 26% in the last six months, like a 50%, a 50% over the last year. Now the last time I was with American Express, I wanna say I made, and don't quote me on this, I know I made money on it, I wanna say I made like 13 to 15% or so. And then we, I think we we're going into 2022, interest rates were going up and I decided to take my profits and leave at that point in time. Now, looking back, perhaps I should have kept it. I could have been up 50% or more, but I did have a slight concern back when they were doing the, uh, not, not American Express, but there was a, it was Capital One and Discover. Some, some credit card companies were looking at merging. We can go back and watch that video to see who was merging at that point in time. I haven't heard anything from it. But American Express is one of those companies where like every other year or so, they start to take off, they pop up on my radar and I hitch my wagon to it. So at this point in time in August, I think it's a great stock to buy, but for my, me and my practice, what I do, you guys know I start to buy and sell in December and in June. So this is definitely one that I would love. If they continue on this trend, I would absolutely love to pick this one up in December. That's just for me though. 
you don't have to do exactly what I do. And this might be the perfect time to pick up American Express, a company that again, especially if you follow me on public, you know, you know for a fact that I have ridden American Express, made profits from American Express, and I will circle the block again, the next opportunity that I get for a company like them. Now, before we get to our last two, and one of these has a pretty solid dividend as well, to just to give you a little bit of a hint, I am teaching a few free classes this week on how you can create your first six-figure investing plan. It is totally free totally free, but I'll show you how do you get your first six figures, why it is important to hit that first six figures and really work backwards to get to that number. So if you wanna register for that class, again, it's totally free, you want to go to this link right here and the link is also in the description below. Now this next one I have quietly, quietly mentioned at least three times in the last two months or so. I ain't gonna be quiet no more, okay? This one is Iron Mountain. The ticker symbol here is IRM. They're up 55% in the last six months and up 71% over the last year. And they obviously, one of my favorite things is they also pay a very solid dividend. The thing about Iron Mountain, I like to think of them like a tank because if you can go back, or really you, you can go back, you have the opportunity to go all the way back from these videos to about 2021 and you will see at least one mention, at least one mention of Iron Mountain every single year. At some point in the year, Iron Mountain, it feels like, has a moment. That moment is now, okay, and honestly, it's been over the last year that moment has occurred, but it definitely seems like this is one of those companies that you just like have in your portfolio as one of those like super long term companies. Just seems like that is going to be the place for Iron Mountain in the majority of people's portfolios. And again, if you are someone who enjoys dividend stocks, it might be one that you should consider. Now, we have one more and then there's something I need to say warn you about when it comes to the entire stock market. And it can also be a bit of an opportunity for you as well. However, let's go ahead and get to this next stock. That's GoDaddy. GoDaddy, the ticker symbol here is GDDY and is the only, uh, depending on if you want to consider American Express and FICO tech or not, but it is the only tech stock here on this list today. And that is up 36% in the last six months, up 89% over last year. And all of these, these numbers were as of the weekend. So at this time that you're watching this video, could be Thursday, could be Friday. I'm uploading this a little late, okay? But the numbers could obviously shift and the market at the time that I was doing this video took a bit of a tumble, okay? So these numbers could be slightly off. So do want to throw that out there as well. But GoDaddy has done quite well. I do think that momentum is going to continue here. Uh, I can't say forever, obviously, but I do think it's going to do quite well, at least for the rest of the month, I would anticipate. But here's the thing. And if you want me to do an entire video on this, I am considering doing that. So just let me give me some encouragement, some thoughts in the comments. But here's the thing. September, on average, tends to be the worst year for the stock market and obviously we're going into an election year and that can throw off some historic numbers and we can do the analysis on how september does and how november does in election years but the main thing is this generally september tends to be the worst month for the stock market that can either be a a time for you to really buy the dip and buy low. So if you are dollar cost averaging into some of these companies, which I think are doing well and could continue to do so, you can start to buy now and really go hard and, and really start to buy in September. And then as the stock market continues to go, go well, which is what we hope, as the calendar turns to 2025 and things start to really pop, if things go the way that they normally do, because we do know over the long term, the stock market does tend to, go, to do well, okay? Uh, I think 70% of the time the stock market is up, so like the last 50 or 60 years or so. We do get those dips, 2022, the pandemic, 2008, but seven out of 10 times, the stock market is usually up. So we should be fine, again, when you take a step back and look at the long term. Now, I'm just throwing it out there just so you know in advance, 
September, tell you again, could be rough. And historically, that is the case. That is the case. So if you want a longer analysis on why that's the case or theories as to why that's the case, what it has been historically and what 2024 could be, we can absolutely do that video. But you gotta let me know in the comments. I don't wanna spend my time doing all the research in the Dunwoody Watch, okay? So feel free to let me know that in the comments. Make my job a lot easier as well. But if you're looking for other stocks, perhaps some stocks that pay dividends, you wanna know what you want to consider adding to your portfolio, then these are the videos that you wanna watch next.